Hi, Noah. Alan, good morning. How are you? I'm good. Wow, you sound so bright and bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. <laughs> I'm inspired. <laughs> well, I, I have to say, it's very exciting to be able to speak with you this morning because I have been a longtime fan of you, my friend. That's oh, thank right. you. Yes, right, Alan. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started here because I, I have a good bit of questions I want to get to, and they're very interesting. I think our audience is really going to enjoy this a lot. Oh, God, um, I can't wait. So I admire all the hard work you do. You know, I love the film that you start along with Megan Fox and Shadow Girl that released this past summer. Also, another great one that I think a lot of your fans know you from is The Hunger Games, Catching Fire. Yeah. But what was one of your first roles that you landed as an actor, and how does it feel to know, uh, or, or how does it feel to see how many roles that you have been able to land ever since the first project you've worked on in your career? Like, what's been one of your absolute favorites? Oh, one of my absolute favorites, I, I would say, is uh, playing Thad Castle from Blue Mountain State. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. It, you know, for, I mean, for me, that was, uh, it, I, I, I quit school. I started to go to school for music theater, and I was like, what am I doing here? I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> like, I hated being in class. It just had to be, I, I've always been experiential. Like, I want to learn as I go and figure out what works for me. So I, I didn't really want to be in school. So I, I didn't have, like, that frat kind of, I didn't have any college experience like, like most have. So about the same, you know, about the same time, same age, I'm, I'm, I'm living this, I'm, you know, playing a frat house, you know, quarterback college. I had, I mean, we lived it kind of like on and off the set. It was like my, that was like my college experience playing, you know, in Blue Mountain State. So I, you know, I look back fondly on that. It was a really fun, wild time. Um, and the character was a blast. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. so I, that's kind of what I think of. Um, but I've had you know, a, lot of, a lot of great experiences. And I, I, you know, when I got started in the business, it all happened really quickly. Yeah. Um, my the first job I ever did was I was the body, I was the body, you know, uh, of Beowulf, and oh, then Ray yeah. Winstone uh -huh. came in and did the voice because they were like, ah, it doesn't quite look like a Beowulf, so we're looking for, <laughs> you know. but like everybody else was there, you know, like Angelina Jolie or uh, Robin Wright Penn, uh -huh. um, uh, so I was around like all these great. Uh, gr you know, great names, and, yeah. and I'd never been around that before, so I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Well, look at you now. Look at you now, yeah. Alan. Uh-huh. Look at you. you yeah. okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you know, another thing, too, since we're talking kind of about your career, you know, we're going to get into your new film here, The Turkey Bowl, which is knocked down hilarious. I can't wait for everyone to check this out. Oh, uh, but a lot of fans, too, they know you from your popular audition tape on American Idol. <laughs> and Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're going there, Alan. We're going yes. back in time, back to my child. I think I had diapers on when I auditioned for that. <laughs> that was a long time ago. How y'all doing? Uh, sorry, Alan. Can I just say before you start, thank you. <laughs> thank you for putting a little smile oh, on Oh, you put a friend. smile on Paula's <laughs> face. Come here. First time we see her smiling, Alan. Oh, oh, oh. God bless you, for that. you are the sunshine of my life. Mm. That's why I always stay around. You are the apple of my eye. Oh. Forever you'll stay in this heart. You know, I was looking at your audition tape because, you know, I was wanting to go back and, and rewatch it. And I was, I'm like, wow, look how young Alan was back oh, then. I mean, right. you're still young. I was a kid. You know, but, yeah, I mean, you were like at 20 or something, yeah, right? Yeah, I was I'm 19 or 20. I don't remember. But, yeah, it was, it was a long time wow. ago. Oh, Yeah, because yeah. I'm 21. Yeah, so I'm like, wow, you, that, that was like, you know. It wasn't so long ago, but you know, I'm like, wow, look at Alan. And yeah. Paula Abdul, she loved you. Yeah. She adored you. Now, my question is to you, have you ever came across seeing Paula in your career again? And if so, like, you know, what does she think about you and the career that you've made for yourself now? That's a great question. No, I've, I've, uh, Randy Jackson, I've seen quite a few times. Um, so, no, Paula, I've never run into her again. And uh -huh. I don't think, I don't know, would she remember me? I don't think she would oh, remember Oh, I think she totally would. No I, way. You know, she, I, I, thousands you know of people that she saw. No way. I believe that she's watched you in a movie. Oh, yeah. She watched it, loved it. Yeah. <laughs> She still loves it. Come on, Paula, call me. <laughs> well, Alan, well, let me ask you this now. Uh, let me turn it around here. So if you could, you know, if you could say something to Paula, we have her on the phone. No, I'm just kidding. We don't have her on the phone. <laughs> you know, if you could say something to Paula, what would you say to her, like, if you could see her again? Oh, wow. What a great question. Um... I mean, because literally, you know, you could tell from the audition tape, she, like, adored you. 
you know. Yeah, I would just I maybe thank you for the door, uh, the crack in the door. I don't know. I mean, she uh -huh. doesn't realize they don't realize that this. You know, I didn't, I didn't, you know, go off, clearly, uh, I didn't go off to become a, a, a singer. You know, I didn't, my music career didn't really uh, do anything. Mm -hmm. I, I fell into the acting immediately after. That was my first time in L.A. She brought me to L.A. Wow. Uh, for the first time. And I realized once out here, I was like, ah, this is a really great energy. I'm from a small town and this is uh -huh. fun. These people are really hungry. I kind of oh. want to be around this. I don't know what I want to yeah. do, but I want to be around this. Right. And, uh. You know, by, by by having that experience, she she opened that door to me, and so I moved to LA because of that. Um, and I fell I fell into the acting. You know, within three weeks, I was on a show. I, I ended up on Smallville really quickly, playing Aquaman. And so the rest was history. I, I kind of stopped doing the music, and I just full on, you know uh, ran with the acting. Mm -hmm. um, but that's all because of her. I'd tell her that. You know, she gave me a Aww. life in a way. Yeah. Look, Paula, you brought Alan <clears throat> into millions of uh, of our lives. Yeah, millions because you know millions of people love you, Alan. So yeah. look at there. Yeah. All right. Well, one last question before we get into your movie, The Turkey Bowl. You know, being an actor in Hollywood, what is some advice that you have gotten in your career that you always take with you to projects you've worked on that you wouldn't mind sharing to our audience this morning for aspiring actors and actresses? Oh my gosh, these are wonderful questions. I did <laughs> not. I was not in the head space to be giving advice. Um, <laughs> well, I, I would say that I get this question a lot from people, you know, like a, a guy, you know, serving me at a restaurant or something. He's like, I really want to go mm -hmm. to L.A. and, you know, become an actor. Yeah. Uh, there's kind of two parts to this. I would say, one, these days you don't have to go to L.A. to live that dream. In fact, most markets are bigger, you know, Atlanta, Toronto. I just had this conversation with somebody I ran into. Uh, Vancouver, there's a hundred thousand places that you can go that shoot more more film or TV than LA does. Nobody, re I don't ever work in, I hardly ever work in LA. I, you know, we get the job here, we take the meetings here, and then we go off and shoot somewhere else. You're not going to be getting, uh, you're not going to be g competing with Ryan Reynolds if you don't have any. So don't come here because that's where, <laughs> <clears throat> that's where uh, that part of the that piece of the puzzle is put together. Yeah. The leads, right? You want to go compete locally with people for like the. You know, we can't fly everybody in. Mm -hmm. So uh, get those parts and stay where you are. You don't need to be here for that. Just get those, go find a local casting and start getting in there. And you can do that. And the way that you prove that you can do that is by picking up a camera and shooting. You don't have to be a good writer. You don't have to. Be, it's not about making something look super polished. It's just about demonstrating to people who you are, who your essence, you know, how your essence is and what your voice is as uh, are, you're, you're, you're like this really, you know, grounded, dramatic you know, uh, like highly emotional. Are you funny? Are, what is your voice? Help people understand kind of what angle, help people understand how to help you mm -hmm. locally. That would be my, my advice. I mean, I think that is you, some really good advice, Alan, that you gave oh, out thanks. there. Thanks. I really like that a lot. Uh, well, I hope that aspiring actors and actresses watching this morning, you know, take that advice from Alan because look at Alan. He's very successful. He's still he's still working hard. You have a couple of other projects under your belt that's underway. Uh, of course, we can't talk about those, but, you know, let's go <laughs> now. I know what we can talk about, Alan. We can talk about the turkey bowl. Gobble, that's gobble. right. You know, Thanksgiving's coming. Gobble, gobble, gobble. You know, the turkey. Uh -huh. Well, I like the ham anyway, whatever. <laughs> I know, you right? Know, Who so likes turkey? <laughs> Give me some prime rib. So, The Turkey Bowl, it is the perfect movie for the month of November. You know, this movie will have you laughing out loud, laughing so hard that you won't be able to even swallow your popcorn right. That's right. Uh, so, <laughs> Do you eat popcorn I, on Thanksgiving? Is that a thing? Well, you know, I, I eat it when I watch a movie, you know. But now, on okay. Thanksgiving, I'll tell you something. My um, sister makes the, I have a twin sister, Alan, so my sister makes these, like, chocolate balls or whatever. I don't know. They're, like, popcorn so good. It's like balls? cookie dough with covered and dipped in chocolate. I don't know. I stuff Gosh. myself. Like, I literally gain about 20 pounds. Can I'm, you I'm mail me kidding. some? <laughs> Can you put them, snail mail? Are you allowed to send food in the mail? Can I have some? Oh, yeah. Oh, Alan. Oh, believe me, you, Alan. I will send you some. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to hold you to it. I want the cookie dough balls. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. They are good. I will tell my sister to make some personally for you, Alan. That's okay, fine. deal. All right. Okay, Alan. Okay, here we go. All right, now let's get back to your turkey bowl because they're going to tell me to wrap up here any minute. So, Alan, <laughs> how much fun was it for you to be able to be part of this particular film? Because it is funny. It's a comedy, um, and I think it's one that the whole family is really going to just enjoy and have a good laugh. I agree. Yeah, it was a blast to make. Uh, it was nostalgic for me going back because we had that same kind of tradition, right? The, the Thanksgiving Day football game. Uh -huh. This is about a, a Thanksgiving Day football game between some town rivals that was never finished. Uh, and they're reuniting to play this, to finish this game 15 years later. Stakes are high. 
a lot of the town is up for grabs. It's mm -hmm. uh, a girl is up for grabs. It's like it's oh. great. And you know, I, I play this uh, this guy Ronnie Best, mm -hmm. the 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 town uh, villain, you could say, and uh, the quarterback of the rival team. Um, it's just pure. It's just pure comedy, and mm -hmm. uh, it's 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 also got a lot of heart. I, I think for you know what some have called kind of like a bro comedy. Um, it's it's got a it's got a lot of heart more than you'd expect and it makes it a really uh, well-rounded uh, three-dimensional film so um I, I think people are gonna love it I, I i really enjoyed watching it when i saw it the other day yeah i can't wait it looks like a, an, an incredible film i know i'm going to have my whole entire family watch it with me uh and you know what i might save it and watch it on thanksgiving day that would be even more there special. you go right. yeah. yeah yeah that's right alan uh-huh yeah i think i'm gonna do that do yeah it. slip into um, a little a little coma halfway through and falls and you can watch it you finish it the next day yeah yeah. Right on Black Friday, you know, don't go shopping. <laughs> I know they're, the Black Friday people are gonna kill me. You know, they're like, oh no, don't say that. Come shop, come shop till you drop. Yeah. You know. Anyway, but <laughs> okay. My last question for you, because I know we really gotta wrap this up. Uh, you know, from the clips and trailers, I have you know checked out the movie. Like I said, it looks like an incredible movie. Uh, but you know, w uh, which scene would you say in particular had you laughing out loud the most on set? There's a scene that takes place in the bedroom. Oh, of of okay. another guy of another guy and uh, okay, now. <laughs> it's it's uh it's a lot of fun and it I think that scene alone is worth checking out the movie for yeah <laughs> that's, all, well, that's all I'll say I can't wait yeah don't don't spoil it for everyone you know we, we got to go watch this so the turkey bowl everyone be sure to check it out tell our audience Alan where the, when they can check out the turkey bowl turkey bowl November fifteenth uh, anywhere you can see it theaters on demand uh, however you like to consume content these days it's there for you. That's incredible. I will be watching. Thank you so much, Alan, for joining me. It was such a pleasure to get to speak with you and to meet you and to chat with you. And hopefully I can get to see you sometime in person. I hope so. That'd be great. Yeah. Take care, Alan. Thanks. You too. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.